This week, I decided not to do a silly video or put on a costume or play a character because I want to teach you about Thanksgiving. For some of us, Thanksgiving is a time when family and friends come together and give thanks for the things that we have in our lives. If that's your tradition, I think it's beautiful and it's so important to give thanks for the things that we have in our lives. So don't stop doing that. Keep giving thanks for what you have in your life. I think that traditions can be very important and very valuable. So let's talk a little bit about some of the things that we know to represent Thanksgiving. We know about pilgrims. But did you know that pilgrims left England where they lived because they were in trouble for believing the religion that they wanted? So they left England and came to North America. And when they got here, they were not the first people to arrive. People had already been living in North America. Indigenous people are the first people who are in an area or a land. So when the pilgrims came over here, they were coming into someone else's territory or someone else's land. And these people, who we call Native Americans today, love their home and didn't want anything to change. So when the pilgrims arrived, the Native Americans were afraid and scared because these pilgrims that arrived on their land didn't look like them and they didn't speak the same language. And the group of people called pilgrims were also very afraid of the Native Americans because again, they didn't look like them and they didn't speak the same language. The pilgrims also thought that they were being brave and they really wanted to gain control of the land from the Native Americans. So the pilgrims stayed in North America because they wanted to show how brave they were. And they were also still very afraid to go back to England where the king did not want them to practice their religion. So even though the Native Americans feared and did not want the pilgrims to stay on their land, and even though the pilgrims were scared of this new land and new people, the pilgrims stayed and started to take over the land. Do you see something in common here? Fear. Being afraid of something. Have you ever been afraid of change? Have you ever been afraid of something you didn't totally understand? Have you ever been afraid of something or someone different than you? When you're afraid, it can be scary. And sometimes you might even do something that you're not proud of because you're so afraid. So the pilgrims came to North America because they were afraid to stay in England. And once they arrived in North America, they were afraid of the people there. And because the pilgrims were so afraid, they were not very nice to the Native Americans. In fact, they were very mean and cruel to the people there. Fear can lead people to do a lot of things that they normally wouldn't do. So the next time that you're faced with something you might be afraid of, or when you think that you're just being brave, take a step back and think about what you're going to do next. Ask yourself, who's gaining here? And why am I doing what I'm doing? Choose the next right thing to do even if you're scared. Choose the next good and right thing. So what do you think might have happened if the pilgrims hadn't acted out of fear? How could the Native Americans and the pilgrims have lived together in the land? And how would the pilgrims have acted if they were acting out of love and respect instead of fear? and greed. 